Ever wondered how Holocaust survivors move forward after World War II? After the war and the fall of the Nazi regime, these survivors had to rebuild their lives. They had very little money and often had no family left. So many of them left Europe to start over somewhere new. We know that those who were in the concentration camps suffered a lot and still carry deep emotional pain. But what's not talked about as much is how this pain affected their children. How did growing up with parents who went through such trauma shape the lives of the next generation? Let's find out. The Holocaust was a terrible event in history. It happened during World War II and many people, mostly Jewish, were killed by the Nazis. After the camps were freed, there were many challenges and difficulties. People who were imprisoned in the camps had to adjust to life outside. They had to find food, shelter, and rebuild their lives. Many of them were very weak and sick because of the harsh conditions in the camps. People from different countries and backgrounds had to come together to help those who were liberated. It was a time of hope, but also a time of great sadness because of the suffering that had taken place in the camps. In the period immediately following liberation from oppressive regimes or traumatic events, people often faced immense hardships and health challenges. This was especially true during the aftermath of World War II, when many survivors of concentration camps and war-torn areas were liberated. The suffering they endured did not end with their liberation. Instead, it continued in various ways. Survivors who have endured the horrors of war or oppression often emerge from these ordeals with their physical health severely compromised. Starvation, malnutrition, and overall poor health are common afflictions. These issues can result from prolonged periods of deprivation and inadequate access to food, shelter, and medical care. As a consequence, many survivors continue to suffer, their bodies weakened by the harsh conditions they endured. High mortality rates are also seen during this time primarily due to untreated medical conditions and the enduring trauma from their experiences. The toll on their bodies can be overwhelming, even after liberation. Moreover, the psychological impact on survivors is profound. Many experienced post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and other mental health issues. The horrors they witnessed or were subjected to during their captivity haunted their memories, caused nightmares, flashbacks, and severe anxiety. Survivor guilt was a prevalent emotional struggle during this period, with survivors grappling with the guilt of having lived while others perished. Melancholia, a deep and persistent sadness, often lingered in the hearts of those who survived as they mourned the loss of loved ones and the suffering they endured. This period also had a lasting influence on the children of survivors. A study conducted by Bauer shed light on the intergenerational effects of trauma, particularly in the offspring of Holocaust survivors. The research suggests that the experiences of survivors could impact their children, with some inheriting the trauma in various ways. The second generation is at risk of developing psychiatric symptoms, as the trauma and suffering of their parents can cast a long shadow over their lives. These effects could manifest in the form of anxiety, depression, and even a sense of disconnection from their family's history. Survivors who returned home after enduring the horrors of war and persecution faced numerous challenges that could make their reintegration a difficult journey. These challenges could be grouped into several key areas. First, there's the daunting task of attempting to reintegrate into their original homes. Many survivors experienced displacement, often being forced to flee their homes and leave behind their belongings. This loss of property can be a significant hurdle as they try to rebuild their lives. The absence of familiar surroundings and cherished possessions can make the process of returning home emotionally taxing. Furthermore, reuniting with family members, if possible, presented its own set of challenges. Some survivors were separated from their loved ones during the war, and reestablishing those connections could be complicated as the passage of time and the trauma experienced can create emotional distance and barriers to communication. Economic and social challenges also loomed large for returning survivors. Rebuilding their lives from scratch was a formidable task. Many survivors found themselves in a state of financial and social disarray, having lost their livelihoods and social networks during the war. Finding stable employment, securing housing, and accessing essential services could be a daunting process 
particularly when survivors were already grappling with the emotional scars of their past. Discrimination and anti-Semitism could further compound these challenges. Some survivors continued to face prejudice and hostility in their home countries, which could hinder their efforts to reintegrate into society. The impact on the family structure was another profound concern. Many survivors, having endured unimaginable suffering, found it challenging to reconnect with their children. The trauma they had experienced led to withdrawal from their offspring and emotional detachment. These emotional scars affected the parent-child relationship, making it difficult for survivors to provide the care and support their children needed. Moreover, the traumatic experiences of child survivors had a lasting impact on their identity development. Growing up in the aftermath of such horrors meant they faced unique challenges in understanding their place in the world and forming a sense of self. Moreover, when the survivors of the Holocaust came back to their homes, many people in the general population reacted in very hurtful ways. These survivors, who had suffered greatly during the war, had to face deeply upsetting reactions from others. People treated them with fear and rejection. They faced discrimination, which meant they were treated unfairly because they were Jewish or had been in the concentration camps. Some people even isolated or excluded them from their communities, which is called ostracism. These harsh behaviors had a deep impact on the survivors' feelings and minds. Survivors had already been through immense suffering, and now they had to cope with being treated poorly by those around them. This made their emotional pain even worse. It's important to remember that the survivors of the Holocaust went through a lot, and they deserved understanding and support from their communities. But instead, they often faced additional hardship when they returned home. In the aftermath of World War II, the children of Holocaust survivors known as the second generation had to deal with some difficult challenges. Many of these kids experienced various problems. They sometimes felt something called survivor guilt, which meant feeling bad because their parents survived such a terrible time while many others did not. They also felt really sad and melancholic because of the heavy memories their parents carried. Some even had thoughts and feelings like they were somehow connected to those who had passed away during the war, which was tough for them. Many people who survived the Holocaust showed incredible strength and determination. They had positive qualities that helped them cope with the terrible things they experienced. Some survivors had a strong ability to adapt to difficult situations, showing great initiative and not giving up easily. They were also very tenacious, which means they didn't stop trying, even when things were really hard. This resilience often led to success in their lives after the war. What's even more remarkable is that some of these positive traits were passed on to their children, the second generation. These kids grew up with parents who had been through unimaginable hardship, but they also learned valuable life skills from them. They learned how to be determined, hardworking, and to have a positive attitude towards family, friends, and work. This transfer of strength from one generation to the next is a powerful example of how the human spirit can endure even in the face of the worst circumstances. So life after the Holocaust was complex. It had many aspects. We must recognize the lasting pain and strength of survivors who endured the horrors of that time. The impact of the Holocaust continues to influence future generations. The lesson we can learn from this video is the importance of never forgetting the past, standing against hatred and discrimination, and working together for a more tolerant and peaceful world. And if you found this information valuable, please subscribe to our channel for more insights and knowledge.